Hey everyone, I'm Ryan. You're watching 60 Cycle Hum, and in this video, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. This is gonna be uh, one of my affordable board videos, as you can see. I've got the ambient affordable board in front of me. Uh, people have been asking me and commenting a lot, like a lot, that uh, I should do a shoegaze affordable board. Um, I am not familiar with shoegaze, really. I know it exists as a genre. I have a vague understanding of the kinds of sounds that happen in shoegaze, but unfortunately I haven't spent any real time listening to shoegaze. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna listen to, let's call it 45 minutes to an hour of shoegaze on this playlist here that I found on YouTube. And while that's happening, I'm gonna rearrange the ambient board and swap stuff in and out to make it a shoegaze uh, affordable board or my best attempt at it. And then I'll play through it and see how close I got and see if I have, you know, at least a vague understanding of this genre. <laughs> so anyways, let's get started. I'm gonna time lapse this whole thing. I mean, you don't wanna hear an hour of this and it would, uh, you know, get this flagged for copyright strike. <laughs> All right, let's buckle up and do this thing. All right, headphones on. My shoes are on. I've properly gazed them. Oh man, an hour of music listening sure takes it out of you, huh? <laughs> that was fun. Um, I uh, I started off a little bit sidetracked. I accidentally clicked the wrong set list. I meant to click best shoegaze songs, top shoegaze music playlist updated 2020 to 2021. I accidentally clicked shoegaze slash dream bop slash bedroom pop slash indie alternative. And uh, I listened to that for about the first half hour <laughs> before realizing my mistake. Um, I still got a, a decent vibe of you know what shoegaze is off of the first session and then the other half an hour. But uh, the uh, definitely that first half hour, uh, I was a little confused because I'd always heard that there's uh, a certain amount of fuzz in shoegaze and I wasn't hearing that at all in that playlist. I think that playlist was much further into kind of ambient, soft, easy sounds, uh, which the rest of the shoegaze, the other half hour seemed to be, but I was hearing a lot more like high gain mixed in uh, to uh, those pedal boards in those bands. So I ended up throwing in the, uh, the twin note papai fuzz. Um, I also noticed a lot of like chorusy modulation, but not like swooping modulation. So I put the harmonic square by Donner here. I'm gonna put it to the detune setting for just this consistent kind of like chorus, but not moving chorus sort of sound. Um, lots of reverb going on, a lot of reverb. Um, reverb before drive is what I was hearing. So I put the Most Guy Spring Reverb before the Azor Pure Boost and I'll be able to dial in, I think, a nice bit of reverb pushing drive with this. It's not a heavy drive um, the way I usually dial it in. So we'll see what I can end up with that. And then another layer of reverb, just to be safe. The K-Line Snake Bite, a nice smooth, kind of dreamy layer of like, really high mix reverb. We'll see how that sounds. I was hearing some tremolo every now and then, some like choppy stuff. So I threw the Azor in there just to see. I'm sure this is something that you shoegazers out there can relate to. I found myself wishing I could squeeze just one more pedal on here. I made it work. I got seven pedals on here. I squeezed on 
the Echo Square by Donner because it's got a lot of fun delays on there. And why not just throw another layer of time-based effects on top of all of this? It's very like rhythmic music. I really liked it. I was really enjoying it. I'm honestly wondering why I haven't taken this dive before and explored this genre because I actually really enjoyed most of that. There wasn't any of it I hated. I liked it. Um, it actually reminded me of a lot of bands that I really like that I'm wondering if they might be shoegaze bands now <laughs> or have that influence going on. Um, so I'll have to, you know, revisit bands that I like and check out their Wikipedias and see what people are saying about them. So let's, uh, let's get this started. Do I have power on everything? It looks like it. Yeah, I think we're all set. I'll select a guitar in a Forda Board tradition, an affordable guitar. I'm assuming a Jazz Master is a great choice for this genre. Kind of jangly, kind of alternative sounding. It even sounds like it's mostly in tune. All right, a little bit better. All right, let's start going through this. I'll come back to the papai. We'll start with the pure boost. Trying to figure out a good riff to write around here, a good like progression. I'm not finding anything that is reminding me of the stuff I just listened to. I'm gonna keep trying though.
Well, did I do it? <laughs> did I shoegaze? I feel like I was shoegazing. I didn't look at my shoes too much. But, uh, I felt like doing it. <laughs> I don't know. It, I, don't know. I, I feel like there's something missing from the way I'm approaching this, and I, it's on the guitar side. It's on the music side of it. I think I'm getting those tones. What do you guys think? Did I, did I find some shoegaze tones with this thing? Started out with high gain with the papai. Chorus, this kind of detuned, solid, not swoopy, not moving chorus with the Donner harmonic square. Uh, spring reverb from the most guy, like a mid to light gain from the Azor boost to take that reverb and that chorus and just like mutilate a little bit and sustain it and just max it out and give you this big whooshy wall of sound. Snake bite to smooth the whole thing over again. <laughs> Tremolo to chop it up and then a Donner reverse delay just for good measure. I, I, think, I think I did it. I think I cracked the code, guys. Did I do it? Do I need to try again? Uh, do I need to keep an eye out for more pedals that would be good for a shoegaze type thing in the future? Do I need to make more shoegaze content? I definitely need to listen to more shoegaze music because I honestly rather enjoyed it. I thought it was a lot of fun. So anyways, please like, subscribe, just like, leave me rude and nasty comments. Support us on Patreon. Use the affiliate links down below so that I can make a little bit of money every now and then to put diapers on the table and food over my family's head. And uh, stay grounded. Bye, everybody.